Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video and welcome to 2021. By the time this video is coming out, this was recorded just beforehand uh, and this is the Nations Cup and it is round six, I believe. And it's a strange circuit, let's be honest. Uh, when this popped up, I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest with you. It's, um, yeah, it doesn't really promote fantastic racing as such, but... We're going to do our best, but as I join the lobby, you can see my SR's taken a bit of a hit. I'm not sure when, but it looks like we're, with, we're mixed with some D-rated drivers. So I'm going to have to make sure um, they don't have my pants down here and I can actually prove myself to be an SS-rated driver. So we get qualifying under, underway. Um, not much really to show you because qualifying of this circuit, it, it's literally, what, I think it's like eight miles a lap of just two straights and two corners. And you just call it slipstream. So not too much to show you, so I'm not going to try and bore you. I'm going to try and make this video as interesting as I can. So we get the race under the way then. We do actually end up qualifying P10. I did cross the line in P1 and I was very, very happy. But my um, yeah, my time got absolutely smashed about five seconds later. Uh, so yeah, there was a few D-rated drivers that um, did, in fact, have my pants down. So it's a great start to 2021. Let's see if we can actually get a few positions here. As you can see we've got underway. We've chosen the Supra. There are many cars you could have picked. Um, and there's from varying from F40s to Corvettes, um, Diablo Lamborghinis as well. But uh, I've chosen to go with the Supra. A lot of people use the Ferrari F40, even though it doesn't have the best top end. Um, it's very good with acceleration. So you could break away at the start and then the person behind you doesn't get the slipstream. Um, so that was a tactic, but I found that tactic a bit too late by the time. Uh, I entered the race. So we're in the Supra, uh, going up this uphill section, which just seems to last for an eternity, but there is this race, I guess, it's just, well, it's just essentially one massive straight, isn't it, really? But, um, yeah, I found the video is a lot more interesting if you fast-forward it. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so, I fast-forwarded this, and the action is non-stop, as you can see. It's um, much better when you... <laughs> Fast forward it. It is just way, way too slow um, and way too boring. I'm not going to put you guys through that just for the sake of content. So if we're going to fast forward this to make this a little bit more enjoyable. You can see we're on lap two now. Uh, and yes, we are going through it. And we're going to go across the line here. We go side by side. And I almost, almost just get uh, the win. But I lose out by 40. 14, was it 4400s, I think? Because I, I can't quite read it, but uh, yeah, that's um, that's close. Um, I'll take a P2, but I decided to join a Daily Race B, and yep. <laughs> Some big boys in here. Some big, big boys. So I decided to do Daily Race B between um, the actual Nations, Nations Cup races, because uh, it's, um, it's an hour and 20 gap, even though the race is about 10, 20 minutes, including qualifying. So I don't really get that. Um, I suppose you could say, oh, we, you know, do more than two laps, but you wouldn't want to do more than two laps around there, folks. It is. It's pants. It really is pants. But, you know, I do make recordings on the Nations Cup and the Manufacturing Series, so I want to make sure I can show you guys and try and make it as entertaining as we possibly can. So we're starting P8. We've got some big names in here, guys. Big names. We've got two PR1 drivers. We've got Kia in here as well. And we've got Agu just in front of us. Um, I'm in the Hyundai Genesis. Uh, I have been saying this week that this thing is an absolute monster around this track if you are struggling not the best out and out pace but it is certainly a good weapon to use now the brit here goes um flying up the inside had to make sure i go out that there otherwise um that could have potentially ended badly and i'm telling you right now with all these big names in here um, we've got some gt sport world finders in here with pr1 fire and um giuseppe as well so i'm very very um privileged i suppose is the is the word, but yes, this is Daily Race B, Red Bull Ring, five laps in group three cars. Now, I've already, I know I've already done a video of this circuit and this car already, but there's some big names. You can see P7, um, he was P7, I should say, I think he was P2, P3 at the start of the race, is, um, ended up getting himself a penalty. So that's moved me back up to P8 now, so I may have lost the position um, to the Brit in front of us, but I've managed to gain one back, and so far, so good. Um, I haven't managed to drop off. I needed to make sure I stayed in the slipstream of the guys in front of me because that's where the weakness of this car is. As soon as I drop out of the slipstream, I am going to struggle. But I go from the first corner there, the Nicky Lauda curve, and yeah, nice and easy. Uh, no issues at all in the Hyundai. It's a 
especially why I love it. It's so good um, going over the curbs. It's exactly what you want. And the brakes, look at the difference here. I could have yeah, I almost went for a move. I could go up the inside because it's the only place I could go. But the difference in braking performance uh, between this car and the, and the Vantage is quite significant. Now, that might, you know, um, be because of the speed difference. But even still, I think at the same speed, this thing is... Um, quite the monster so we're going to go through turn three now second gear kind of three quarter throttle and then as soon as you can uh, go to 100% throttle you can see the Aston Martin losing the rear end uh, ever so slightly going through that corner but we are nice and stable in our trusty Korean powered Hyundai with the nice wang at the back giving us extra downforce which is exactly what we need you can see the Aston Martin in front of us it's actually got a massive spoiler but not as good as our Hyundai ones clearly going through that corner then turn five turn six pretty well they managed to gain a little bit on the Aston Martin and to be honest with you I'm amazed um, that the group in front of me haven't pulled away yet so uh, it goes to show all the laps I've done this week all the practice certainly have worked out for me I reckon that bridge just went a little bit wide there is he gonna get a penalty for that that no he's not I don't get it that seemed bizarre I seem to have all four wheels um, over the curb there that's a little bit strange. I'm going to have to... I think I'll have to... When I'm doing this editing, I'm going to have to zoom in there. And we'll have to have a look. So I'll go over that once I've done this voiceover. Um, and we'll go over that chat. We'll go over that chat. Well, I'll say we go over it. You'll be able to see it. A bit more clear as go for a massive dive on the inside. And this is what I mean by the difference in braking performance in the Hyundai. Massively, um, massively better. And I managed to shoot up the inside there through turn two. Uh, I believe the corner's called Ramos. And uh, yeah, back up to P... Is that P7 now, which is um, which is awesome. So it's a net gain of one, uh, and I will take that. And you can see there's a group of cars in front of us, four big names: Magnus, Agu, I think you've got Key in there as well. Um, possibly Lewis Murdoch. I'm not quite sure. Someone's in the Citroen, which was a little bit of a surprise for me. I didn't think the Citroen would be any good, but clearly, if someone's using it, um, it must be decent. It can't be bad. Uh, and I thought using the home dive was a little bit of a mean, but fair play. Fair play. Anyways, just gone through turn six. Time for turn seven. Difficult set of corners here. A um, little bit of camber on both of them, and uh, the swooping right hand is going downhill. You have to brake um, earlier than expected because you've got gravity against you, purely due to the fact that you're going downhill. Uh, so you've got to brake earlier than expected. Crossing the line there at 129.1, which usually... In any other normal race, if you're doing a daily race B, that is a cracking time. It's a really, really good time, but not in here. So, as you can see, three, four tenths off the fastest lap, and that is just insane. And I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but we've got to be careful here. The Brit is right behind me. It gives me a little bit of a nudge, which is good to see. I'm actually purple in the first sector. It goes to show how well this car's done. I double shift stupidly, but someone in front of us has actually got a penalty now uh, as the Brit pushes us along. So, that could pay dividends in the future so we'll get we'll get cross, cross we'll get down this straight here again breaking downhill so you have to break a little bit earlier than expected another swooping right hander i really do love this circuit i have to say i hope they bring this circuit back maybe it's a daily race c with some tire wear um and i just want to i want to say as well group three cars i think are becoming my favorite because with group four cars it's just the viper and the tt at the moment it dominates they both do, where is in group three, uh, the cars, there's such a wide variety of cars you can use as the um, as Agu here is going to serve its penalty and that's going to put us up to P6 now, so we've made a net gain of two positions in a lobby quite like this, this is unreal, I'm very very chuffed right now, so yeah, we go through uh, turn eight there, but yeah, just absolutely chuffed to be in this position, so we're going to cross the line here, with just one lap to go again. An absolutely solid time. Not that is not slow in any sense of the imagination. But yeah, oh hang on. Do you reckon that Spaniard just cut that corner a little bit there? He did, there you go. Half second penalty. Well, I will have a bit of that, my son. Oh yes, okay. Gonna go uphill then, this long uphill section, which makes the second part of the circuit all downhill sweeping, purely because of the massive uphill section here. Purple in the first sector as you can see, and you, the difference once more in the brake performance in this high end dive was absolutely fantastic there. And it's going to do me wonders because I'm going to fly past the Spaniard, well, I say fly past, just about get past the Spaniard there. And I reckon the Spaniard and Agu are going to have a little bit of a competition to see who can finish P6. And that is going to work out lovely for me if they do. So we managed to go through that right-hander there, turn three. Um, 
nice and smoothly, thankfully. Rear end doesn't step out, which is what I absolutely love about this Hyundai around this circuit. And again, through turn four, nice and smooth, making sure we do not get two wheels over the red kerb, otherwise we will get penalty. Personal best still in the middle sector, so we can even improve on our 29.1. I think if you get a low 29, you're, you're looking good. So to get a 29 flat or sub 29, very very happy with that all right just two corners to the go then through turn seven i took away i took way too much that inside curb there probably a little bit of nerves um settling in and then turn eight as well could have taken that a little bit better but it doesn't matter we're going to cross the line and we're going to cross the line in p5 yes you know we only really made one overtake and the rest are due to penalties but you've got to be in it to win it and i drove as smoothly as i could and the Hyundai served, you know, served me well there, and I'm very, very happy to cross the line in P5. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that race because the Nations Cup race isn't particularly good uh, this week, so I just wanted to include this one because this was a bit of a corker. So I hope you enjoyed that race. And to end the video, I'm going to show you the most meme-like thing on this game that's possible. Okay, so this is my second entry. As you can see, I'm in the Diablo this time. Everyone is fighting like crazy, and just watch this. Yep, the most meme way to end a race, I think. And probably the best way to end this video. <laughs> I don't think there's a better way you can end a video right there. That was um, ridiculous. So, guys, as always, if you did enjoy this video, um, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.